players in the NBA. Uh, the Nets window is closing, and if they can't get it done this year, I can't imagine these guys are going to be able to stick around much longer. Shot clock at five, Carter, an air ball, and he's hurt. He's holding his ankle. Age, a lot of wear and tear, that's going to affect a player. something about the way Carter's programmed where he just doesn't get it. He doesn't want to kill you. He doesn't have that instinct that he is going to take it upon himself. I think he likes to score. I think he likes to get paid. And I think he likes to have his teammates help him up off the ground. I don't think he necessarily wants to lead. And I don't think he has the mental toughness that you need for a guy that's getting max money and has that image that is built up about Vince Carter in the league in his career so far. If you watch the team now, the New Jersey Nets, they don't help Vince Carter off the ground anymore. They're, they got tired of that two, three years in. They're not doing that anymore because that's a disruption. We're looking at a guy that never really achieved the greatness that everybody thought would be there. It's understandable that we're not seeing the Vince Carter from Toronto. What's not understandable is we're not seeing the Vince Carter of previous net seasons. The occasional explosiveness that he once showed on a consistent basis, you don't see it very often. What do you think about him, really? Oh, he's a very good player. I, I, I'm not sure he's ever been a great player. It was certainly exciting to watch in his younger days. A lot of flash, not a lot of substance. This is part of the things that Toronto didn't like about Vince, the Toronto fans, that sometimes you just don't know which Vince is going to show up. Obviously, he's off to a, a difficult start to this season. Well, Vince Carter is struggling. I think everybody's waiting for him to come around, especially after he signed the big deal. He's not taking over games the way he used to. I know he's saying he's aggressive, but he's not being aggressive. Now, they're saying Carter is having a bit of an off year. Is he going to show up? Is he going to play the way he's capable of playing? He can still be an effective player, correct? Yeah, he's not He's not the superstar he used to be. Vince Carter used to be a, a player who gave you three or four highlight plays every single night. Now the knees are gone, it's harder for him to have consecutive great nights. Can you adjust and know that you're not you're just not able to make the highlight real plays like you used to but still be a very effective player and like his best days are behind him and can he adjust probably not for him to be at his best he's got to attack the rim but physically you're saying he can't do that anymore he, he can't do it anymore but he's not the Vince Carter of old. Yes, he can adjust, but they need him to be a superstar, but he's not playing at a superstar level, and he can't do that anymore. Vince is the best in the regard. Vince will do whatever is best for the team. Uh, there are some players, whether they're superstars or not, where their egos are so large they can't accept any other role but the role that they think they deserve. Vince is the first one to say, hey, I'll do it, I'll volunteer. Uh, which makes him special. Vince Carter has and always will sell you jerseys and get you some tickets because he still is an electrifying player. Still? Yes, he is. So the Nets need Vince Carter to, to come and, and be the true Vince Carter that he is. You're cleared for takeoff, number 15. Let's go, yo! Trying to convince themselves that their record with Jay was a fluke That the record that I'm making is a mistake and I can't take this Let me tell you where I'm at with this You bastards are gonna have to take back that shit I'm not plastic and fake When I make tracks I take facts and lay them out for the masses You assholes are gonna see soon that I'm not playing
start asking me the names that I'm not saying But I'm trying to be bigger than the bickering Bigger than the petty name calling Under the breath talking Rumors and labels and categorization I'm like a struggling doctor, no patience But you can say what you want about me Keep talking while I'm walking away You can say what you have to say Cause my mind's made up anyway I'm taking the high road going above you This is the last time that I'm gonna trust you like the old things. Carter's the trailer driving in. Oh, he got it to go! He is gifted! Oh, here's Carter with a spectacular move. And a hit, and now he shoots it. Knocks it down! Now Dr. Bill! Oh! Vince Carter taking over at Izod Center! A vintage Vince Carter game. It was kind of a vintage type of Vince Carter game. Vince Carter right there, a vintage move. I'm a friend of mine, Magic Johnson, said Vince Carter can't do this anymore. I'd like to send this clip to the Magic Man. Terrific defensive play for Vince Carter. Carter, pump, jumper, got it, bottom, Vince Carter. 24, Carter, yes! Kicks it out. Johnson, take a look if you're anywhere out there watching. And off the mouth, trying to make me take myself off safety. Trying to make my friends turn their backs on the team we built. Building up some mistaken information and I can't take this. Let me spell it out plain for you. Angry groups complain about the things we do. I'm not changing direction, I'm stepping my game up. Maintaining my name same way that I came up. You're gonna see that I'm not playing And start asking me the names that I'm not saying But I'm trying not to mention the names of people who want to siphon attention You like the hype but pretending you're part of the picture won't pass You're like a high school dropout, no class And you can say what you want about me Keep talking while I'm walking away Bitch, you can say what you have to say Cause my mind's made up anyway I'm taking the high road going above you This is the last time that I'm gonna trust you You can say what you have to say You know, Carter still has a lot of spring in his game. And oh, the pass protecting it, made contact with Carter. He's back for Carter and his shoes. Not all the way, and Carter is feeling it, but he's been unstoppable. What a superstar is supposed to do. And he Certainly, in my opinion, still have the ability to dominate in this league and make guys around him better. We stay together and we continue to trust each other. You know, we'll be okay. A bleak evening for the Nets. He was especially frustrated with the fact that Vince Carter missed all those games with a sprained ankle. It's important for us to stay positive. It gets worse and worse. That is now nine straight losses. We need a, we need a win. Right now, there is no light at the end of the tunnel. Jason Kidd confirmed he wants out of New Jersey. Kidd, if everything goes through, will be traded to the Dallas Mavericks. Did you feel like playing with him wasn't going to lead to the championship? Was that part of the problem? No, you know, Vince is one of the best players in the league, so um, that wasn't a problem. It's just, as a whole, we just... The, RJ, myself, or Vince, we could never, you know, push forward to meet those high expectations. It's one of those things where it's like, you know, you, you, you would love to be here, but, you know, Jay, Jay 
felt that he, you know, he was time for him to move on. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I can't be mad at him for that. You know, I, I'm, you know, I support him. I, I, uh, I hit him yesterday and told him, you know, congratulations, and move on, and you know, hope he wins his ring. But it's so important for your best players to set a tone and personality of how we're going to play each and every night, because those other guys are going to follow their lead. With this new group coming in, what is your expectation down the road for what this club can do? Make the playoffs. Simple. Coach, in an interview yesterday, kind of challenged you and Richard as far as taking the onus and being the leaders. When you hear something like that, what do you do personally? Uh, I, I accept it. I don't have a problem with that. You know, I've been in a position before where I've been asked to do so, and you know that's that's been my focus since uh, the trade is to, to try to lead this team and, and just be a vocal leader as well as uh, you know doing the job on the court. So um, I have no problem with it. But Vince has a history of doing it. He carried not only the Raptors, but all of Canada on his back. And he got them within a jump shot of going to the uh, Eastern Conference Finals. So Vince knows how to carry a team. It's just a matter of can he do it? Because this year, between his ankle and just his lackluster play, he hasn't been the same player that, uh, that we all expect. But it's about time for him to earn his big contract. He has to be the man now. This is his team. Here's Carter on the run, gets it off, and scores! Carter gets the step and puts it home! Here's Carter on a fade, he scores! And Carter goes the length of the floor! Charles Barkley, Magic Johnson, I can still do it, says Carter. He can get anywhere he wants on the floor tonight. Rejected by Carter! Vince hears it from the crowd. There's the alley oop. Carter with the steal. Here comes Carter. Whipping by James and scores. That's the Vince Carter we know. That is vintage Vince Carter. And takes to the rim. That's a move out of his Raptor day. As soon as you sleep on him, he reminds you, I can still rise. Tonight, obviously, you know, Vince was, I mean, that was vintage Vince Carter. Carter with Harris, two on one. Harris, the lob. Oh, what a finish! Carter says, give me the basketball. No longer am I going to turn it down. To the rim! It is Vince Carter who's taking it up to another level. Carter again. Working his magic. Vince Carter. Get him the basketball and get out of his way. Carter's jumper. It's good. Keeps the dribble inside. And scores. Carter skinning shot. Post. Making big time plays. Playing with confidence and putting this team on his back. Carter, yes. When he plays with the kind of intent that he played with tonight, he is one of the best players in the NBA. Vince going to work again. And scoring with a little English. Off the window. Got behind Williams and scores. I just want to leave it on the floor tonight and you know, I can rest tomorrow. Again, the lob. Carter finishing this time. Continuing to be spectacular. Inside corner. Turnaround is good. In the paint. Turn the rim. And a jam for Carter. Wow. Carter. Anthony flop. And Carter hits a three. As coaches, we come an hour before the first bus. Vince was on our bus today, you know, and on a back-to-back. -back. So his leadership skills have been great. He's shown the way. He's trying to do everything he can to put us in a position so we can play in the postseason. It is just so clear right now that Vince Carter is looking to carry the Nets on his back. Carter, the spinning shot. Good! 
You tell me how good Vince Carter is playing. Carter ahead of the field! He looks like old Vince, like what everybody remembers. Now, people can say what they want about Vince Carter, but since the trade, he has elevated his game. This is vintage Vince Carter right here. Here's Carter to the rest. He's averaged 28.1 per game over the last 10. Talk about the passion, the determination, the will to want to get it done. Vince Carter, flat out an inspiration for everybody else on the floor for the Nets. Nobody in this league, when he wants to do it, can score 25 points or more easier than this guy. That, that looked like about a, a five-year ago move. I'm telling you, he can't still rise. We're fighting for our lives in, in, in the playoffs, and you know, that's what it's about right now. They dropped to three and a half out of the uh, playoff picture. He still makes some spectacular plays. Here is Carter. We just we have to find a way. You know, we just have to find a way. Jim, the Nets' playoff hopes are slim. That is no fault of Vince Carter. Ah! Everybody around the Nets organization talking about how he just stepped up on and off the floor to try to get this team through the end of the season. Vince Carter just went ballistic on kids. He's become a leader here in the absence of Jason Kidd. Five of his last six games, he's playing 40 or more minutes. Vince has been playing through pain since he injured the ankle in November. Everything that's happened this year, he views himself as a leader. He's lifted his game. He wants to finish the season. He doesn't want to quit on this season. He's been playing with a sore ankle all season long. And Vince Carter on the other end with a spin, the fade, the fire. There's Carter to the reverse. Carter. How you're feeling with the ankle? Oh, I feel terrible. That's vintage. Oh, that was beautiful. Vince Carter has been an absolute monster. 24 points, five rebounds, six assists. I just want to come out there and just give it all. I want to finish the season. I want to, I want to be a leader for the team and just come out here and just lay it all out in the line. Projected net team that has been officially eliminated from postseason contention. You know, I just think Vince has just taken a great deal of ownership uh, ever since the trade of wanting to be accountable and wanting, regardless of where he was at physically, to step up and take ownership. And I think he's done a phenomenal job. Well, Vince Carter, he's been in the playoffs quite a bit, Chuck. And his team is not going this year. We still keep playing hard. You know, I believe this team is, is a very good team. Just because we're mathematically out, that doesn't mean we give up on a season. Carter way outside. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that was an afterthought. He said the one guy that really stepped up and became the leader of this team was Vince Carter. On and off the floor, in practice, and game situations, he couldn't be more uh, happier as far as the way that Vince Carter conducted himself. He probably had, if you looked at his ankle, it's, it's very swollen, had every opportunity to basically, um, if not sit out or shut it down, definitely take some time off or reduce his minutes, and yet he, he continues to fight. This is vintage Vince Carter. Turned it back Tom. They still greet him with plenty of venom here at Air Canada Center. Carter to the cup, up and good. But since the departure of Jason Kidd, 
uh, Vince has played terrific basketball. This he's year. done everything he's supposed to do. He Parker to the rim, swallowed away by Carter. You know, he still showed that when he's healthy, he can carry a team. He carries a team better than Richard Jefferson. It's just kind of firing him up a bit tonight. Vince Carter, though, has stepped up, I think, Jim, over the last few weeks, and he's made a case that he's capable of being the leader on this team, both on and off the floors. And hitting Carter on the fadeaway. Vince Carter is bringing it here in Toronto. Carter on Bosch. Boy, he can still elevate, can he not? You know, virtually every night, he's never 100%, yet he always gives 100%. It says a lot about him as a person. It is about character, it is about professionalism, and if you're able to do something, you know, you're going to do it. And, you know, Vince is a, is a, is a first-class person. There were only two other players that had his numbers, uh, Kobe Bryant and uh, LeBron James. How many people in the league are capable of doing that? Well, you can count them on one hand. And that's what uh, Vince does for us. Basketball is like life, you know. Basketball presents challenges. It presents bumps in the road, but you always tend to meet the challenges because you want to try to figure out a way to get to where you want to go.